rather special, isn't it? You've really made a difference. People say I've made a difference, but... <laughs> this matches all that. No, no, I promise with you, I wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, you're with friends. I believe this. I really do. What an absolutely wonderful man. Very happy Christmas to you, Dan. Now, I wonder what the people here will be doing at Christmas. What are you going to be doing, Dennis? Drinking late now. <laughs> <laughs> Margaret, what are you going to be doing? Um, entertaining the family, or some of them. Mm -hmm. Dennis, how do I know about you and Margaret? I don't know. I've got a present for you. It's sitting up there, a little box. I want the two of you to come on the stage, please. Follow me. Right, I don't know which one of you is going to open uh, my present. Don't hide it away like that, Dennis. <laughs> I know it's small, but quite often the best things come in small packages. They do, they do. Well, Margaret, will you please open my gift to you? Thank you. You look very suspicious, trust me. I do. <laughs> All right, do you know what that is? It's a webcam. Yeah, it's a webcam. It's a webcam. Yeah. Because you've got your son, Gary, living in Australia, That's and right. you communicate by computer. That's right, yeah. But you don't have a webcam, no, so no. you can't see each other and whatever. No. Now, did I get this right? Because I posted another one of those to Warilda Avenue, Engadine, Sydney. That's right. Yep. So I got that bit right. <laughs> so now, when you communicate with Gary and Angie, and there's a couple of kids there. Brittany yeah. and Bronson. Brittany and Bronson. When you communicate with them, you'll be able to see each other oh, as well. lovely. OK? Lovely. Good. Well, obviously, that's not the only thing, because uh, we've set up a video link. So now you can see Brittany and Bronson, who I believe you've never, ever seen. No. Is that true? Yeah. OK. So you can keep the webcams. But if you'd like to look at the screen, we can link to them. Ah, hello, that's cl clearly, I assume that's Gary hello, and Angie. Hello, hi, hello. Dennis and Margaret. Hello, Mum, hello, Dad. Merry Christmas to you. Merry Christmas. Our love to you for Merry Christmas. You are allowed to say you. something we to them. Oh. Well, can they hear us? Yeah, they can hear oh, you. Oh, you can hear us. How's the snow? <laughs> <laughs> we haven't got any snow yet, Gary. <laughs> <laughs> that's good, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, well, well, we wanted Christmas. to do that for you as a little Christmas gift. Merry and we'll Christmas. leave the link up after the show so that you can have a proper chat with them. Oh, lovely. Thank All you. All right. Noel. Thank you. I'm sorry that Brittany and uh, Bronson aren't there. Are they in bed? No, they're right here. You've never, ever met oh, them. No. They're here now in Bristol. Brittany, Bronson. <laughs> And of course, you were probably there already. Gary and Angie, they're not in Australia, they're here as well. <laughs> Gary, yes, wonderful. Angie, thank you for making the journey. Yeah. Brittany and thank Bronson, you very thank you for much. coming to see it's your wonderful. grandparents. <laughs> and I wish the whole family a very happy Christmas. I bet it's going to be magical, isn't it? <laughs> Thanks, Carol. Thanks, Mike. Happy Christmas. Happy Christmas. And we have some more really great surprises. A magical trip to Disneyland for an inspirational mum and for the families of our armed forces heroes, the Christmas present they will never forget. And for somebody here in the Bristol Old Vic, we really do have a stunning surprise.
Welcome back. This is Lisa and this is Paul, the Griffins. Um, we've met before, haven't we? Yes, we have. Because you were brave enough to come <laughs> on my hit Sky One show, Are You Smarter Than a Ten-Year-Old? Yes. And were you? No. You definitely weren't. No. Well, on that show, Lisa, um, I wanted to organise a surprise for you and for Paul mm -hmm. and your daughter, Gabrielle. Yeah. And this is the moment where we attempted the surprise. Just before you go, okay. I do want to say a big personal thank you to you for personalising the game to such an extent that we knew why the money would mean quite a bit to you. You want to go and take Gabrielle mm -hmm. with your husband Paul yeah. to swim with dolphins in Florida yes, to help her cerebral palsy. Yes. And £10,000 will help tremendously. Definitely. And you're going in a couple of weeks. Yeah. What? You're going in a couple of weeks. I said we attempted the surprise because there was a very unhappy event shortly after that, Lisa. Are you able to explain what happened? Yeah, um, unfortunately, um, in September, on September the 19th, a little girl passed away very suddenly. We put her down for her afternoon sleep and um, she left us. She went, she went back to the angels. Her name was Gabrielle, named after an angel, but... Um, we didn't quite realise that she was on loan to us like that. I really, really was looking forward to that trip because mm. I know it does mean a lot to children with cerebral palsy. Um, we have tried to think of a gift for you that would be appropriate, bearing in mind your sad loss. I know for a fact that you really feel a huge debt of gratitude to everyone at Ormond Street Hospital. Mm -hmm. Um, for not only what they did for Gabrielle, but also um, their support for you. Mm -hmm. Through a company called Spacecraft, we have got a selection of sensory toys specially designed for children with learning difficulties. And they will go into a room at Great Ormond Street Hospital oh. in memory of your little girl. Mm -hmm. Just have a look at this range of fantastic toys. There's a bubble stream machine, an interactive ball bubble tube, sound activated light tower and a coloured light projector. Oh, that's beautiful. And they're a gift from me to you to pass on to Great Industry. As any parent knows, getting children to help around the house is nigh on impossible. But in the case of nine-year-old Lucy, who lives in Chester, she really does have to help around the house because her mum, Janet, has cerebral palsy, her father, Brian, doesn't have the use of his legs, and he's deaf. She is a true carer, which is why I so much wanted to give her a memorable present. In fact, a big one, which I put on her front driveway. Unfortunately, I didn't quite get the reaction I was hoping for. <laughs> Hello. Happy Christmas. Are you Lucy? Hello. Happy Christmas. Can I come in your house, please, Lucy? Yeah. Did you say yes? Yeah. You look very worried. Yeah, Hello, good morning. Good morning. 